Dressmaking and Tailoring Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Dressmaking and Tailoring, Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8, Lesson 4. Our topic is Identifying Sewing Tools and Equipment. Another classification of sewing tools are the marking tools. Marking tools are required for transferring pattern markings to garment fabric pieces and for making alteration on garments. An example of marking tools is the tailor's chalk. This is essential as marker for use on materials. It is available in a variety of colors and it's used to mark the fabric. It is made of hard chalk and can be removed by brushing. Next is the tracing wheel. This is an instrument with serrated edge wheel that produces dots on the fabric. The smooth one creates a straight, solid line. The dressmaker's carbon paper. It is a specially waxed carbon paper that transfers the tracing wheel's marking to the fabric. This is available in different brands with different instructions. Chalk Pencils or Dressmaker Pencil This is available in white or pastel shades. This is used to make fine lines on fabric. It has an erasing brush at one end. Next is the Liquid Marking Pen. It comes in two types. The one that washes out and it should not be used on fabric that show watermarks. And the other one is that fades after 48 hours. The mark should be removed before pressing the fabric. Wax chalk. This is available in black or white and it is used for woolen fabrics. Wax can be removed by pressing. Pinning and sewing tool. Pinning tools are devices used to fasten or designed to pierce on the fabrics or any materials, or to join two or more garment parts temporarily while doing sewing operation. Pinning and sewing tool. First is the pin cation. It is a cation available in different shapes and colors used to hold pins and needles to prevent them from accidents and scattering in the workplace. Next is the hand needle. These are available in different sizes and used for temporary stitches, hemming, and other sewing purposes. Sewing needle threader. This is a diamond-shaped wire attached to a handle and a wire used to insert thread through the needle eye. It consists of two parts, the handle and the wire. Thimble. This is a small cap placed on the tip of the middle finger to protect it from being pricked by needle while sewing. It is made of metal or plastic. Next are the materials. First is the fabric. It is a cloth used in making garments. The plain cotton fabrics, flour sack or kacha is the most appropriate materials for beginners because these are very easy to handle. The next material are the threads. It is used in assembling or constructing the parts of the garment. These vary in sizes and colors. Heavy fabrics need stronger threads. Threads should have the same color with the fabric used. Drafting tools are instrument for making patterns. L square. It is also called Taylor square, which is one of the most basic of the pattern making. 
This is an aluminum ruler with 90 degrees angle. It has two arms connected to perpendicularly and used to draw or make construction lines in pattern drafting. Hip curb. It is a curb stick made of metal or wood calibrated on both sides used to form the hip line and other areas of garments that need to be curved. French curb. It is an instrument made of flat metal, plastic, or wood used to shape the depth of the neck holes, arm holes, and collar. The drafting table. It is a wooden table used to draft the pattern paper laid in a smooth and firm space. Next are the pressing tools. These are tools used to make the fabrics or materials smooth, to give a form or shape, or to remove grease or wrinkles with the application of heat and pressure. An example of pressing tools is the flat iron. It is roughly triangular flat surface that is heated used to press clothes to remove wrinkles, flattened seams, and crease hems. Next is the iron board. It is a long, narrow board and flat padded cloth covered with surface with collapsible supporting legs. Use a working surface for ironing. Pressing cloth. The pieces of fabric used to protect the items or garments while pressing. The purpose of using pressing cloth is to prevent from scorching on shiny fabrics, and to protect the iron and the garments. Next is the sleeve board. It is a small ironing board used for pressing narrow areas such as sleeves and trousers legs. Pressing ham. It is a tightly stuffed fillow used in a curved mold when pressing curved areas of the garments such as sleeves, collars, necklines, and darts. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.